Tommy, uh, another defeat here at Hartlepool. It's the same scoreline as, as last time. Did you see it similar to that one? Um, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to think about the game last yeah. season. I remember it was two individual errors last year. Um, listen, at the end of the day, we've been beaten because their strikers have been better than ours. Simple as that. I mean, he's, the dad up the front for them has absolutely made a mockery of what we... Same defenders have defended really manfully against Eastleigh and against Southend. I've got to say it, I never, I never even singled them out, but as a group today, they, did, they didn't handle them. It's as simple as that. And that, that's the difference in the game. I mean, anybody who's here has seen we've had a load of possession, but we haven't done anything with it, not enough. Um, and sometimes you don't know what you're missing until it's not there. That's, that's, that was the case. Yeah, being solid at the back is something that we've taken pride in yeah. so far this season. I guess it wasn't really there today, was it? I mean, do you think that is credit to Manny de Saruve? <laughs> Well, you've got to give, he's scored both goals, hasn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's, he's, he's gone into our box at will twice, early in both halves, and done what he wanted to do. Um, and that's down to the people who are in that position to try and stop him. So, well, there was a lot of players today I felt that were just not quite at the races, you know. And um, I, can't, I can't make excuses. I'm not making excuses, I'm just saying. And I, and I feel for the, the group that have come up and, and followed us brilliantly and stayed yeah. with us all the way. Um, and even clap the lads off. I mean, look, these lads are trying. They are, but we've we've had we have got an, an issue in, in two areas of the pitch, I believe, and it, it's it's up to me to try and sort it out. I'm trying to give the lads who are in the building a chance to to, to rectify what the problem is. Obviously, losing Ollie Arfield has been a massive blow for us, and we're lopsided. We get that, um, and we've we've tried to put you know square pegs in sort of rectangle holes, um, and on occasions it works, but you can't you can't sail a big ocean with a little hole in your boat because it'll just start getting bigger and bigger and, and that's that's a little bit of where we are at the minute um but the effort I, I, listen i'd never question the lads you know wanting and, and, and trying yeah but sometimes you it's just lack of it's lack of intelligence in football sometimes there's a lad in their team and i don't know how old he is but the lad in midfield there i mean he's, he's run the game without running around you know and, and we've just got we are young, we're young and we are learning. The trouble is we're learning on the job and, and we better learn quickly. We did have a few shots on goal, yeah. but they, they mostly came from distance, didn't they? Yeah. Did you think there just yeah. needs to be a little bit more to break into the box? You absolutely, look, we've got, we've got a plethora of people who will class themselves as forward-thinking players. You know, They're not out-and-out strikers, but they're forward-thinking players. And we've had enough ball, as you've seen, the whole game to have asked more questions than we did. Um, Josh Barrett's gone close on a couple of occasions. I think Ryan Jones did when he came on. Jack Boram's had a go. There was enough in the game for us to, to keep going and get something at the end, but there wasn't the quality in the final third. In terms of personnel, I, I know Theo obviously travelled up to us, didn't he? And, and he unfortunately had a bit of an illness, didn't he? So he missed out today. Did that kind of affect things a little bit? Well, it affected the team in terms of he's, he's been a regular in it. Um, and like I said, sometimes you don't realise what you've got until it's not there. We didn't have anybody that put their foot on the ball and made us play. You know, we, we, we passed the ball all right, but we, we give credit to Hartlepool. They've obviously watched us and, and seen that the lads at the back for us aren't the, the most technically gifted, so they've let them have the ball. I'm not, I'm not daft, um, but I just felt the lads who were in the team to make, change the ball speed and, and up the tempo into an attacking sense, that, they just weren't at the, at the races for me today, I didn't think, and uh, we have to take it on the chin. And, and look, I know we don't want to make excuses, but again, it was a team, wasn't it, that have just had a managerial change. And do you think we did see a bit of a, a bounce from Hartlepool today that was always going to make things a bit more difficult for us? Uh, I don't know. They're, well, they're, they're having to impress whoever might be coming in, but, but I mean, that's none of our, you know, that shouldn't even be in our thought processes. We've come here, it's good pitch, good crowd. Nice day for this for this part of the world, um, and not too breezy. So, listen, anybody who was here watched the games probably enjoyed a decent game of football. But I just don't like losing games, and when you, it feels like we've gone down without really, you know, taking a swipe, and that that just hurts me a little bit. And I look in there, the chat I've just had with the players there, and there's not enough coming back at me, and I, and I, and I feel that one or two need a bit of a shake up.